Hey what's up guys, Priya here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. So today I'm back on Clash Royale, we are going to be using this deck right here today. Looks pretty interesting, I did actually get it from this individual right here on TV Royale. So yeah, shout out to this person, and let's jump into a game or two. Alright guys, here we go, game number one right now, we are against this individual, let's see if we can win. I've never used this deck before, so hopefully I can actually pull off a win with it. So anyway, we'll go Golem at the back right now, it looks pretty decent until of course he does go with the balloon my only option here really is the minion horde i do expect him to have arrows and or freeze he actually has zap so i was kind of wrong but either way we did take a significant amount of damage and that isn't really great for us so what we'll do is we will just go oh my word like can you make this up can you literally make this up right now why do i have a feeling he's gonna have a rocket anyway we'll give it a shot so he does have Inferno Tower, not really great for us, but again, this is a clone deck, so when Double Elixir hits, we should be able to actually do quite well against this guy's deck, in my opinion, and if we even survive to Double Elixir, that'd be quite helpful as well. But anyway, we do see the Valkyrie from the opponent right now, we will just go in with the Night Witch, the Night Witch would like to actually take out the Valkyrie, eventually she will do anyway, so we'll just go over here with our own Lumberjack. And then we will just go with the Skeleton Army at the bridge. I don't really know how it's to go. And then I guess we'll go Minion Horde. We'll go with it a little bit late. If you actually paid attention to the Lumberjack side, he did actually go ahead and use the, the Zap spell. So we're just going to clone and we should take the tower out. <laughs> okay, the fact that we just took the tower from that is really funny to me. But anyway, let's try and focus on the game. <laughs> I don't even know. I really don't know. The fact we just took the tower from that is just... It's just quite funny, okay? It is quite humorous. So we'll go Golem over here. Do not ask. Really, do not ask. And then we do actually see the Skeleton Army. Oh my, not the Skeleton Army. We did see the Inferno Tower, but we did actually get the Skeleton Army down a little bit too late. Allowing the Inferno Tower to actually take the Golem out right there. So what we'll do is he does only have us up. He's also got the Mega Knight. Pretty interesting deck we are facing. It's not really something you tend to see every day at least. But either way, we will just go ahead and start leaking Elixir. Because that's what I'm professional at doing. And then we'll just go over here. Lumberjack should take the Mega Knight out hopefully. Never mind he won't. And then we'll just go with the Minion Horde right now. And hopefully the Minion Horde can actually clean up the Balloon. So the Balloon goes down. The Hunter's not really going to do a lot. Do you know what? We're just going to pump up again. He's probably going to have Lightning Spell I would imagine. If he's even got any spells at all. It looks like he's not used any so far, so... I don't think he does. I really don't think he does. So we'll just go Skeleton Army. We'll go very high Skeleton Army right there. We'll just go Golem at the bridge right now. Because he can't get the balloon to the tower. It's literally impossible. We'll just clone the Golem for the sake of it. And that actually knocked the balloon back as well. So you could say that was a 500 IQ play. That was the intention, of course. And we ended up winning. No idea what he's doing, but let's jump into game number two. All right, guys, here we go. Game number two right now. We are against this person. Let's see if we can pick up another win. Hopefully, I can. Similar to last time, I'm just going to go G uh, Golem at the back. I've got a feeling this guy's going to be using Royal Giant. Maybe not, actually. I'm not really sure what deck we're, we could be facing right now. I've never... I don't think I've seen this one before. But either way, we will just allow the Hunter to do his own thing. He will do some damage to the Arena Tower. The only concern I've got is... I don't even know. Do I go Minion Horde? Yes. Yes, I do. You have to risk it all if you want to win big. So we're going to clone right here. Do not even ask. This is either going to work very, very well. And we could potentially 3 crown the opponent right now. Or this is going to go horribly wrong. So it looks like it's actually working out pretty well for us. We do have the Lumberjack making his way to the tower right now. So Lumberjack's actually on the King Tower. We are chopping the King Tower down. Or killing it, in fact. <laughs> I don't even know what I just said. And yeah, that was actually a pretty good push. That was actually quite a good push. So we'll go over here with the Night Witch. Not really the best of deployments, but whatever. You just had to try and prevent the Dark Prince from taking my tower. And like I mentioned before, the Lumberjack, the, sorry, the Hunter's going to actually do a good amount of damage. But again, it's not really going to be enough to where we lose the game. So what we'll do is we'll go Golem at the back. If you decide... Okay, never mind. I was going to say, if he goes, like, normal Prince at the bridge on the right-hand side, we do have the Skeleton Army ready for that. And, yeah, this one's looking okay. So, what he's going to do this time is he's going to actually save the Ewers 
or the minion horde okay maybe he isn't so what we're going to do is we are going to go over here as a bait skeleton army he should use the ewiz on the skeleton army okay he won't and yeah this isn't looking great i i guess i'm gonna pump i don't know why i did that i probably lost the game from that actually but like i mentioned the only concern i've really got is the the ewiz so we'll go over here with the night witch Again, just to like try and get some units down to so take everything out. The e -wiz is the only concern, because if he deploys it on the minions, of course the minions will pretty much disappear in half a second, because that's what the e -wiz does. He zaps them as they spawn in, so yeah. This one's looking okay. I've got a feeling we should be able to win this one. I'm just going to keep pumping up, because if we go for the late game, it should work out pretty well for us. Actually, never mind, we shouldn't have pumped. We managed to take out the... Yeah, that's what I was... Me okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought, actually. So, what we'll do is we'll just go all in right now. I guess we'll just call it a day. Hopefully, we can win. And we'll see how it goes. So, Lumberjack for the E was right there. We'll just go ahead and clone skip the Golem forwards a little bit. And that should actually get the Rage down onto the Golemites as well. Or onto the main Golem. So, the Golem locked onto the King Tower. We do, in fact, take the King Tower down to 119. And I think that's in our range. Yeah, 135, and we'll hit him with the 20 wins. So yeah, there we go. We ended up winning. <laughs> it was an okay game. He's going to say thanks. He's going to give me the thumbs up. We'll hit him with the default thumbs up. We'll spam some emotes at this guy. Not like BMing him, but just having a bit of fun right now. And yeah. <laughs> anyway, we won. Successful game. Could have been a little bit better, but we'll take it either way. Let's jump into game number three. All right, guys, here we go. Game number three right now. Let's see if we can keep the winning streak going. We are currently 2-0. Oh. We'll just go with a Skeleton Army. A little bit off-centered, but hopefully it works out quite well. And fortunately for us, it did. So we'll just allow the Skeleton Army to do its own thing right there. There's no point of really supporting it, because what can we support it with? I'm not really going to go Lumberjack at the bridge with a Skeleton Army. But either way, we'll just, we've got the Golem down at the back. The Archers should actually go for the Golem. And we should take zero tower damage from it. Perfect. So that's looking okay. We do see the bomb tower from the opponent. What I'm going to do is we'll go with the elixir collector right now. We'll just allow the golem to do its own thing. Because it probably won't even get past the bomb tower. And he has the hunter. So we won't really get too much from that either. So I don't know why. But ev are you kidding me? Like literally he's got the perfect spell to counter the elixir collector right there. So kind of sad but whatever. So no idea what that crack was. But anyway. We will just go with the minion horde. I have no idea what I'm doing. As long as we can take the hunter out, we should be okay, really. And then he does have the archers. We'll just go ahead and arrow spell them right here. And then I actually see an opportunity for a clone spell. So we'll just go ahead and do it. Perfect. So we'll clone. He does actually use the earthquake on defense against air units, which of course doesn't work out. And we managed to take the tower with the clone bats and the minions. So that was a good play from us with the clone spell. We do see the hog rider again. A little bit off-centered again. I can't... Like I said yesterday, in yesterday's video. For some reason, all my deployments are so bad right now. I can't even really deploy accurately. So... Yeah, I'm not really too sure. But either way, we've got another collector down right now. He does have... He doesn't actually have the earthquake in cycle. Because he did use it on defense. And that's how he took the tower. So what we'll do is we will go with the... Lumberjack behind the knight for the archers right there. Lumberjack should take both the archers out, hopefully. And even get a shot or two onto the knight. So the knight goes down. Well, will go down. Perfect. The knight got eliminated right there. I'm just going to go with the knight witch for the... The golem even. I couldn't even think what I was going to say. And yeah, this one's looking okay. So when we see the hog rider, I'm going to do a very high deployment with it. And that way he can't actually earthquake everything at once. Because if I did it in front of the arena tower, I would have given them the earthquake value. And that's not something we wanted to, to give them. So we'll keep going all in right now. We do have an okay push going in. I didn't actually think of the bomb tower death damage. So it kind of made us lose a bit of our units. But again, it's all good because we can literally just spam everything right now. And that's actually going to be the game. So we'll try and get the perfect screenshot. We actually managed to get it, I think. And that'll probably be the image in the thumbnail. So yeah, we'll take it. Good stuff just go ahead and take this one as well and there we go so that's going to be the video guys hopefully you did enjoy it feel free to copy the deck i did have a lot of success with it and it's actually really fun to use because it includes the clone spell and that's not a spell you see every day so thanks again for watching like comment subscribe and apart from that i'll see you in the next video peace